She is my boss, but when we work together since the first day, I never really think she is the boss. She is my friend and she is my co-worker. We respect each other and we listen to each other. We are on the same page all the time, always on the same wavelength. Yeah, it was, it was surreal because I was working on um, one of our next papers that we were trying to submit and I saw that um, you know, they, they had the live stream going in just a few minutes so I thought, okay, I've never seen like a live stream of a Nobel Prize before. Um, so I figured I'd take a look at it um, and as soon as they started saying the prize goes to rewriting the, the code of life, I freaked out. I woke up everybody in my house. I was super excited. Um, uh, yeah, and then I you know, emailed Jennifer and said congrats. I started tweeting. Uh, it, was, it was very exciting for everybody in the lab. Jennifer is very kind um, and very considerate of her students, so you wouldn't expect that from somebody of her stature and uh, someone who's that busy to make time for you to talk to you about your project and your concerns. Um, and really help you develop in your career. You know, Jennifer's lab is one of the most well-known labs on campus um, in the biology department, in the chemistry department. Um, and you know, like coming in as an undergrad, I also did my undergrad here. You, um, you hear about her and it's, she's like a legend and she teaches Bio 1A, but you often don't get to like interact with her. And I thought it was really just amazing how as a technician, I actually got to work with her. I was kind of thinking, from the moment that Martin Jenick was in Jennifer's office and they were drawing out this single guide RNA and she showed me that and I was like, oh, this is gonna be huge. I kinda knew it. And of course it's been even bigger than I could have imagined. And just to see how people are, how it's being adopted and there's so many variations on the theme um, it's just been really amazing to see what people have been able to do with it. I'm so proud of her. Um, secretly, I've been kind of expecting it to happen, um, and I'm just so happy that it, I didn't even expect it. Like, I didn't even realize that the Nobel was being announced this morning. So it was such a great surprise to be woken up at 4 a.m. with the news, and yeah, I'm so proud of her. I can look back to sitting around on picnic benches at Driver's Ed in high school, and talking about our futures and fast forward to all of your accomplishments. I, I just cannot tell you how proud I am to be your friend. You were visiting us and we were at the dining room table, your family and our four kids sharing what you had done with Emmanuel Charpentier and your discovery. Of course, you had to explain it to me more than 10 times, maybe 15 before I could get it. But I knew that this was Nobel quality work. And I knew, I just knew, I don't know if you recall my calling it, but I said, Jennifer, this is Nobel. This is Nobel stuff. I just know it.